All righty, Brandon, we're down on the field here with winning head coach Cam Lenhart. Wow, what a performance here tonight. Number one, Scott came to town. I don't think anybody from Bennington was necessarily surprised you guys could win, but what type of win was that? What does that say about your team? Uh, it, was, it was just phenomenal on both sides. What I think it says most is that the kids trusted in the game plan, they played within themselves, and they just stuck to what they know how to do. Um, you know, no kid went above and beyond tonight. We knew they have the talent, they knew that they could to do their job, and if they did that, good things were gonna happen. Now going back to the first half, how Scott was able to get that goal line stand and stay within a couple of scores there. I thought that might be a momentum shifting type play. You guys got right back after it though, after the break. Yeah, no, we did a phenomenal job at re responding to the, the adversity that hit us right there. Um, you know, we were we wanted to go, we wanted to go. We weren't going to settle for a field goal. We wanted to score. They stopped us. Yeah, that was good on their part, but we knew that we had the ability to drive down there again and get, and finally we punched it in. You guys had some impressive drives, and I kept bringing up your guys' offensive and defensive lines. Tell me a little bit about the big fellas, because, man, did they pour it on here tonight. Yes, they did. We knew that the, the offensive line has always been our strength there to start. They, they get up to the second levels. They create spaces for guys like Dylan and, and Nick, who had a phenomenal game tonight as well. Um, and then on the defensive line, uh, the best showing that they've had this year so far um, on all aspects. Like I told you, they bought into the system uh, this week of what they needed to do, stuck to the game plan, trusted the coaches, trusted themselves, and, and good things happened. And you and your coaching staff have been very candid about how you guys ended the season last year, second round loss to Plattsmith. This yep. year you're coming back with a little chip on your shoulder. Yep. Well, you can see that. Yeah, no, we have we have things to do um, and, and finish to finish. We got to take it one week at a time. This was a phenomenal week. We always say enjoy the night. When next, tomorrow we're right back to work. This is by no means uh, where we want to end the season, all right? This is not the state championship. This is week four. We had a great showing in week four. Now it's on for week five. And you already brought up the young man, but what can you tell me about Dylan Mostek? Another just whole hum, 200 yards. You know, and a couple of touchdowns go with it. Uh, he's he's a fantastic young man. He works his butt off. Um, he, the reason he's being so successful right now is the amount of work he puts in in the off season, uh, and you can see it's showing. He's a guy that we can rely to hold on to the ball, uh, getting that extra yards. There were m multiple times Omaha Scott hit him in the backfield or hit him right at the line, and he was still able to get that extra push. You know, that's just it. Kudos to him of being being who he is. Coach, thank you for your time. Congratulations on a big win. Of course, thank you.